Wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. The longer you live, the more you will realize that the only things that truly exist in this reality are merely pain, suffering, and futility. Listen. Everywhere you look in this world, wherever there is light, there will always be shadows to be found as well. As long as there is a concept of victors, the vanquished will also exist. The selfish intent of wanting to preserve peace initiates wars, and hatred is born in order to protect love. There are nexuses, causal relationships that cannot be separated. I want to sever the fate of this world. A world of only victors. A world of only peace. A world of only love. I will create such a world. I am the ghost of the Uchiha. For truly this reality is a hell. Just say what I thought you said. Subaru, you're shaking. Don't give me that crap! There's nothing easy about giving up! Nothing! You think I'm just doing nothing, thinking about nothing, cutting myself off from everything, throwing my entire life away, leaving every last thing I know and care about behind, and that's all it took for me to call it quits? That's a lie! It was never that easy for me! It was so much easier for me to go on thinking that there was something I could do to make a real difference. But I know now that there's nothing I can do. There's no way out, understand? The only path everything leads to is giving up! If I could do something, then I'd do it. I swear that I would. You don't know what you're talking about. I have given up. Carrying it all was impossible from the very start. My hands are so small that it all slipped through my fingers, leaving nothing behind. No, that's not true. That's not true at all. You have- Bullshit! What do you know? What the hell do you actually know about me, huh? Nothing! I'll tell you what kind of man I really am. I have no strength, but I want it all. I have no knowledge, but all I do is dream. There's nothing I can do, but I struggle in vain like an idiot! I... I hate... I hate myself! All I do is talk a big game and make myself sound like a big shot when I can't do anything! I never do anything, yet I complain with the best of them like it's my job or something! Who the hell do I think I am?! I'm a fraud! It's amazing that I can live like this and not feel ashamed! You know I'm right! I'm an empty shell! There's nothing inside me at all! I know there isn't... Guess that's obvious... Anybody could see that... Before I came to this place, before I got into the situation that led me to all of you, do you have any idea what I did with my life? I did nothing, that's what. I've never done a single thing worth mentioning. I had all that time and freedom, but I just squandered it away on nothing. I could have done anything with my life, but I never did a damn thing. And what you're looking at now is the result. This cowardly, weak, worthless crybaby! All of my powerlessness, all of my incompetence, is the product of my rotten and pathetic character. <laughs> Wanting to accomplish something important when I've never done anything to earn it goes way beyond the limitations of arrogance. The cost of my lifetime of laziness and all the wasteful habits I forged along the way just ends up killing both you and me. That's right. I have no character. Even when I thought I could go on living here, nothing changed about who I really am. The old man back at the manor saw that part of me perfectly. Did me. I wasn't trying to get stronger or trying to make things better. That was a lie. I was just striking an obvious pose to justify myself, to say that I was trying my best, that it wasn't like I wasn't doing anything, to be able to appear to be doing everything I could. I wanted to say I couldn't help it, to be told that it couldn't be helped. I was only pretending to push my body to the limit so that all of those excuses would be possible. Even when I had you help me study, I was just posing to cover up how embarrassed I felt to be such an incompetent idiot! 
Deep down inside, at the core of my heart, I'm just a small, cowardly, filthy piece of trash who's always worried about how they'll see me, how they'll accept or judge me, and nothing, nothing about me has changed! I've known it since the very beginning. Everything that was happening was my fault. I'm the lowest of the low. I absolutely hate myself. You asked me why I'm doing all this. But even if I told you why, I doubt very strongly that the knowledge would change anything at all. What I want is to create peace and bring about justice. Oh, I see. That is noble of you. That would be justice. However, what about my family? My friends? My village? They suffer the same fate as this village at the hands of you, Hidden Leaf Ninja. How is it fair to let only you people preach about peace and justice? Once, the land of fire and the Hidden Leaf had grown too big. To protect their national interests, they forced feudal clans to wage war against each other, and profited from it. Otherwise, the people of the villages would have starved. As it happened, our little nation and its villages became the battlefield where the great nations waged their war. Each time they did, our nation was ravaged and laid to waste. After many such battles, the great nation stabilized, but our smaller nation suffered and it barely recovered. You and I are both seeking the very same thing. We both want to achieve the peace that Jiraiya Sensei envisioned. You and I are the same. We're both motivated by our desire for peace and justice. The justice that I have delivered against the Leaf Village is no different from what you are trying to do to me. Everyone feels the same pain when losing something dear. You and I have both experienced that pain. You strive for your justice, and I strive for mine. We're both just ordinary men who have been driven to seek vengeance in the name of justice. And if one comes to call vengeance justice, such justice will only breed further vengeance and trigger a vicious cycle of hatred. Right now, we live in such a cycle. I know the past and can foretell our future. It is the same as our history. So we believe that human beings simply cannot understand each other, and they never will. The shinobi world of ours is ruled by hatred, and hatred alone. But you see, that is why I formed the Akatsuki, to break the cycle of hatred. So, Naruto, how would you confront this hatred in order to create peace? I want to know what your answer is. I don't know. I don't have an answer. 